Hey guys, my name is Kaushik and welcome back to Lead Code. So far in our protector series, we have learned so many things, the basic like how to interact with inputs, buttons, how to handle alerts, window handling and all the other small small concepts. Now it's a time to combine all the learned, whatever the things we have learned, we are going to combine all those and we are going to create a framework. So we have learned the basic and also we have discussed about the expected conditions, we have discussed about the page object model and everything has been done using the JavaScript. Now when it comes to the framework, of course we can move uh, with the JavaScript but that's not the real time scenario. In most of the project, if you notice, everyone prefer the TypeScript. We have few reasons for that as well. So uh, I have made a clear video on how the TypeScript works and what is the what is what is the reason behind going to the uh, TypeScript framework rather than JavaScript. Okay, so it's time to learn about the framework, and I'm going to make it very simple and most uh, reliable. But before getting into this TypeScript framework the entire series so i have um, a few more videos to come on the upcoming days so before going uh, straight forward to the typescript framework first i will recommend you to go and watch the entire uh, typescript video if you have missed that because without understanding of the basic of typescript probably you cannot understand how the frameworks works or or how the um, inheritance concept works and everything right so I have talked about in detail in my playlist so you can grab the entire playlist from my youtube channel or maybe from my website letcode.in slash videos from there we can see we have this typescript zero to hero for testers and here I have uh, talked about like uh, why we prefer typescript over javascript in testing and a uh, few concepts like the access modifier the class and constructor and uh, then so many things we have here right so basically this is the prerequisite to understand about the framework so first of course we are going to move to the TypeScript so for that of course we have to install the TypeScript in our node package.json so I will just leave a link on the description and by the way I am using the same page object model uh, the same test right so here you can see that we have already written each and everything in the page object model and we have this test we have this pages and everything and that are mostly in JavaScript file but we are going to convert all those stuff in the TypeScript in later on videos okay so you can grab the entire source code from my github repository so here we have this uh, github.com slash o20kc slash uh, this page of that model js so you can just uh, download this entire source code and you can start along with me okay so let us understand what are the things we need to set up the typescript and it's going to be very simple just few configuration so first of course we have to install this typescript and other than that, we have few dependencies like the protector, of course, the Jasmine, uh, that, that is our testing framework. And then we have this Jasmine spec reporter to get all the spec reports on the console. And we are using the Jasmine Allure reporter for our report generation. And Allure command line is basically to open the generated Allure report. And here we are using this TS node. I will tell about it in a moment and we are using this at types so what is at types is basically like your um, typescript files that are going to give you some suggestions or some or documentations uh, from the typescript directory right so whatever the javascript file we have we can get that using the at types if they have specified or else uh, definitely there will be some work around i believe okay so we are using this jasmine web driver to jasmine and the node and then of course the typescript right now what are the dependencies we have we have to install this for that open up your terminal using control j and then you can specify like uh, uh, npm i so npm i is like basically your npm install and it is going to install from all this dependency it will just go and bring up all the dependency from the cloud and it is going to uh, add it all the dependency you know uh, this node modules right so that's it pretty much good you can get all this of course from my github repository so feel free to copy and paste and then start working on it okay now after that we will understand what is the use of this ts node so ts node basically uh, is going to do the trans compile of your file for example let's, let me give you an example here so if, let's assume that we are going to create a file called test.ts okay this is basically my typescript file ts in the sense typescript right now whatever the typescript file we have when we are going to write our script the ts file we are not going to execute rather we have to execute the javascript that is how the typescript works so it's just a super set of a javascript file so any javascript valid javascript file is also a valid typescript file okay and i have discussed about it 
most of the time so you can just watch my playlist so um, TypeScript basically converts all your files to the JavaScript but there are a few differences uh, I already discussed so please check out that playlist okay now let's say that I'm just going to write a console.log here so console.log and here I'm going to say like hey TypeScript something like that okay now let's bring up our terminal here and I'm just going to clear it up and here I'm going to say TSC uh, so before that let me tell you one more thing as well so I'm just going to change this guy as of now to maybe tsconfig1.json okay now uh, we have this console.log within our test.ts right now if I say like tsc what it's going to happen basically is like uh, it is going to say like hey you cannot transcompile the file you have to say like which file we wanted to do or uh, we have to specify some of the data basically right so here I can say like tsc then followed by um test.ts so that is what my file name okay so as soon as i give like tsc then followed by tsc dot uh, ts now here you can see that we have got another file called ts.js and here within this you can see that we are able to uh, get our javascript file now i can say like node and then followed by test.js to execute my program right so that's that's how TypeScript basically works. That's cool. We are able to understand this, right? So let me just increase the font size here. But basically, if we have like hundred or thousands of test script, of course, we cannot convert all those files into the JavaScript file. And from the JavaScript file, we cannot run our test script, right? That's going to take much time. So for that, we are going to use this ts-node package to do that task for us very easily. But if you want to use this ts node, of course, we have to create a, a file called tsconfig.json where we are going to specify some of the TypeScript configurations. So, for example, let me rename this to tsconfig.json and this file name should be exactly as it is and it should be always within the root of your folder. Okay, root in the sense the parent directory of your project folder, right? And within the trans, uh, I mean, tsconfig.json, we have some of the JSON's value. Um, so let us see what one by one, right? So here we have compile on save. So as soon as we compile the file, we want, I mean, as soon as we save the file, we want to do the compilations means, of course, we can use this. And here we are specifying few of the compiler options, right? So model, what is model is basically we are trying to use the common JSON. So uh, like some of the file system and all the stuff is going to come from the common js so we are going to use this modules and after that we are targeting to the esx so target in the sense like whenever we have the typescript file we are going to convert that into the javascript file now how the javascript file should look like right for example let's say that we are using this esx right so in the esx we know that we have this class support so here i can say like class and let's name this as mobile and uh, let's have a constructor here as well so just going to say like constructor right and that's it so this is my typescript file with the class and the class name is mobile now let's go back to this uh, terminal and here i'm going to say like tsc now this time you can see that actually tsc worked um, in the previous time it didn't work we have to specify the file name but when we have this tsconfig it is going to transcompile all the files that are present within my directory or the project level and then it's going to just do the compile and here you can see that we got now this js file within this we have this test.js i mean test.js and where we are getting the same code that we type in our uh, class in the TypeScript file, right? So both are technically looks very exactly same. So I'm just going to bring up side by side. Now let's go back to our tsconfig.json and here I'm just going to change this to ES3. So basically we are targeting to the lower level of ES version, right? Now if I do the TypeScript compilation again, now let's see what it's going to do. So here you can see that the JavaScript file that we have, the TypeScript file we have basically written the class and the constructor. But if you go back and see this test.js from the same file, you can see that there is no class enter, rather it has converted that into the um, functions, like it is, it is more of like your function declaration. So that is the use of ESX. So and from the starting, from the scratch of this entire series, we are uh, targeting most of the ESX version. That is why uh, we are able to achieve so many things like the class constructor inheritance and each and everything very easily. 
or else of course it's going to be tough to understand this kind of scenario this is what the we heard uh, javascript look like but the as the javascript has evolved, evolved a lot of course it's going to be very very easy for us to understand right so i'm just going to change this to es6 that is the basic requirement to make use of the classes and the constructor so let's do the typescript compiler again and now here you can see that our code has been changed as we did in our typescript itself right so same kind of code that's very easy to understand right let me just bring this down here okay now why this js file folder is created and within this we have because previously we have created here right so i'm just going to delete this guy and i'm going to delete this guy as well so if i go back and see in the ts config here you can see that uh, we are using something called output directory that means whenever we are going to do the compile lesson transpile i mean transpile not compilation actually we are doing the transpile so whenever we are going to do that transpile we are saying that hey i wanted to keep my javascript file on that particular directory the folder right so that that's what this output directory and here we have specified js file and after that we have declaration De declaration in the sense is going to um, like your readable documentation file d.ts in the sense it's going to be like your documentation file so uh, maybe we are not going to use it so let's let's make this as a false and remove commands uh, mostly we don't need this but let me show you why what is the use of this okay so let's say that within the constructor i'm going to write a command called hey this is a command okay now if i go back to this javascript file um okay not this ts so i'm just going to delete this entire folder here again now let's go back to our config file and here you can see that remove comments equal to true right so we have set the value as true so let me do the tsc and it's going to create a folder called js file within this we have test.js and here you can see that we do not have any comments here right basically it remove the command but if i go back and if i make this as false here and if i then do the tsc again and if i go to this js file here you can see that we are able to get the command side so it, just your requirement if you want you can have it as true or else maybe false so i'm just going to make it as true we don't want the uh, comments to be on the js file we will have all the comments in our typescript file itself okay and after that we have this es model right so this is basically like uh, to support the import and export commands so if you remember on my protector video i have said that we can use the import statement within the javascript using the babel ecosystem that babel com configuration right so that is what they are also using internally and after that we have this resolve json module that means whenever we have a json file and we wanted to read some data and we want the code suggestions um, from the json basically we can use this right that's it and after that we have types so types in the sense we can add some of the types like uh, the library we uh, the type declarations we wanted to include for example when i say describe or the it if i mouse over it is going to give us some of the documentation that's known as uh, like like kind of documentation right so that's what we are specifying here as well okay and as soon as i save i mean save any of the file it's going to do the compilation and when it's going to do the compilation it is going to check your entire project enter directly right but of course we don't want to check anything within this because these are already checked and these are like your modules right so we can exclude that so whatever the values we are going to exclude that is not going to be uh, considered in the consider for the compilation right that's it so this is the basic stuff we wanted to set in our typescript project so let me just quick recap of course we need a ts config.json and here we have to specify this values and then we have to make sure that we are going to specify the ts node within the project and of course the typescript and all these libraries or the modules right that's it so this is the setup part now let us understand how the framework is going to look and trust me at least for the protector or any of the javascript framework i think it's going to be very very easy if you compare with the selenium with the java you, we have to do so many things right basically we have to know how to share the drivers from each and every file how we can make our driver shareable that it can do the parallel execution as well but in terms of protector it's going to be very very easy so we no need to worry about any of the uh, drivers rather the global browser object can do all the stuff we have to just change few lines of code in the configuration file right so that's going to be very easy so we are going to do the um, 
framework in two ways that is what recommended always so here we are going to have a base functions and another one is the common functions so base functions is basically like your plug and play uh, file that means we can use the base functions for any of the project for let's say that we have two or three projects like let code we have this go ibibo or we have this make my trip so the common functions like the doing the click action or doing the send case or handling alert of course that are good that are going to be same for each and every application right so what are the functions that's going to be common for all the applications we can write all those in the base functions so that means let's assume that new project is going to come in our uh, office and we want to use a framework means of course i can use the same files over there right but there are certain situations where we have to keep some of the uh, repeatable code repeatable code in the common functions for example if you remember we have those um, pages where we have written this common and within the common.js i have written this valid toast right where we are waiting for the element to be visible and also we are waiting for the element to be visible so let's assume that we have 100 of pages and in the 100 of pages this toast message is going to appear right so of course instead of writing this within the um, like base functions i can convert that into common functions because the toast message is going to be application specific not your global thing right for example let's take a calendar if you notice this go i go this calendar looks like something like this and if i go to this particular um which site is this make my trip right so here we have this calendar in this ui so of course the elements are going to change the uh, ui is going to change the functionality also might be changed right so basically that stuff i cannot write a common base function that is going to be common function that are specific to your particular application correct so in that way we have to design our framework so we can make like a common function and then a base function so i hope you are getting the idea um, we will see about base functions in detail like how we can create each and every functions and how we can call that using the inheritance concept and we are going to refactor our page object model a little bit okay but as i will not have any real time application to give you the demo so common functions maybe i will write few of the uh, functions that are based on let code but i think you will get the idea right that's it and that's it for this video if you have any queries you can do reach me out on the comments or else also you can join our let code community and probably if you have any queries probably you can message i will try my best to answer or reply back and of course it's a community driven so uh, we have around 10 or 11 people as of now but i'm expecting a lot so even if you guys are started to learning probably you can make use of it or you are already an expert and if you wanted to help someone of course you can join and uh, help their uh, queries right basically community stuff of course you got the point right that's it so that's it for this video i hope you have understood the basic concept of uh, framework designing and we'll see about the coding part in the later on videos thanks for watching see you in the next one very soon take care